You know, we have a situation in this country where people are suffering in the midst of plenty. We have been blessed by the Creator of everything. We have the land, we have the mineral resources, we have the market, the largest market in Africa. We have the brains, we have the human resources, we have everything. We don't have any business of poverty. We don't have any business of subsidy in the first place. Nigerians are saying, enough is enough. Stop corruption. Stop wasteful spending. Stop oppression. This is the message. And for those who are attempting to divide this country along religious or ethnic lines, we are just making a statement that we are united, we are strong, and we are determined to remain together. Muslims, Christians, and others. We have been living together before and will continue to live together. We will have you know, misunderstandings, but we'll always address it. We'll always overcome our challenges. This is a challenging period in, the, in, in, in our nation's history, and we are going to overcome it. We're telling the government to be responsive, to be responsible, because they do not have a monopoly of wisdom. Nigerians are saying they do not want any more wasteful spending. They do not want any more corruption. The government will better listen. This is our message. I have said it and I've said it again. We are Muslims. I am an Imam. Uh, 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 I am as related to the north as I am to the southwest. Boko Haram does not represent Islam, does not represent the Nigerian Muslims, is an aberration, is a creation of some people who are bent on destroying this country. Boko Haram is terrorism, is evil. We must all come together, all people of faith, to defeat this evil. Terror is terror. Asin is asin. Don't dress it. Don't create a safe haven for Boko Haram uh, in, in the fortress of religion. There is no place for them at all. 